Here's your programmer. Remember I told you it was two resistors? It's a 22K and a 10K. And this goes to pin two on that serial port, this goes to pin three, this goes to pin five. That's it. Those connect to pins two and pin seven. That's for programming. And what I'm doing over here, I have two LEDs which go to ground to the minus. So you're actually going to have this wire and these guys connected together. This guy goes to pin six. This guy here goes to pin five. That's the whole circuit. There's not much to it. By the way, please stop me if you have questions as I'm going through. Everybody okay up to this point? Yes, sir. On the left-hand side, bottom the ground. Yes, another ground here. Yeah, there are actually four of them then. Yeah. You may want to explain to everybody that the K means thousand. Yes. Okay. Yes. K means thousand. Twenty-two thousand ohm resistor, a ten thousand ohm resistor, four seventy, just four seventy ohm. You can use a one K, it doesn't really make that much difference. And this is what I like to do when I'm building things like this. And let me sh make sure I get the right one here. Here. We were hiding it. This is the whole circuit, and I do have another one of these. Here it is. This is what's called a prototyping board. And you can get these things at Radio Shack for, I don't know, 10 bucks. You can get them on eBay for 4 bucks. You get to plug stuff in and experiment with it without actually worrying about soldering. And if you look at this, there's that pickaxe chip. This happens to be, let me get the orientation, pin 1 is up here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Pin 1 goes to the red wire, which goes to plus 5. Pin 8, the black wire, which goes to the ground. There are the two resistors used for programming. One of the wires goes over here to pin 7. Here are the two resistors that go to the LEDs. And with a little bit of luck, let me get a battery here. Now that's what we're shooting for. Nothing real spectacular. But let's see if we can't go to the next step. Oh, there's another example of the same thing on one of those little prototype boards. As a matter of fact, I can pass one of those around. This is the whole circuit right here. If you would pass that around, please. Now, let's look at the program. Basic is about as close to English as you can get in a programming language. Let me explain one and two. You may have noticed when we had that schematic a moment ago. Let me go back up. Whoop. There. The resistor on the diode, or the light emitting diode here, one of them is connected to something called in one, out one. The other one's connected to in two, out two. That means when you're programming, this is considered output number one, even though it's pin six. Forget about the pin number. That doesn't mean anything. This one is output number two, which is connected to pin five. Everybody follow what I mean by that? So when you're programming, this one is one, this one is two. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Okay. High one. What that says to the microcontroller is put your high voltage on pin one, which would be what? Five volts. And if you put five volts on there, what's going to happen to that LED? It's going to light because that pin is going to have five volts on it goes through the resistor of the LED to ground, so it's going to have a circuit. Low 2. Well, what's that LED going to do? Well, nothing. It's already off. It's going to stay off. The word start is just what's called a label. What I'm saying is this is a particular point in the program that I'm going to come back to. You could call it Fred. You could call it Ralph. You could call it computer. What you can't call it is high or low. Why? Those are commands. They're called reserved words. So there's a limit to the words you can use, but it's pretty big. Start. Pause 500. Well, we don't want the lights to go like this. We want them to be fairly slow. Pause 500 means pause for 500 milliseconds. Computers are pretty fast. So when you tell them to pause, it takes a thousand steps to make up a, a second. So pausing 500 is a half a second. This is cool. Toggle one. What this ta if I tell you to toggle a light, what are you going to do? If it's on, you're going to turn it off. If it's off, you're going to turn it. 
So I don't need to keep track of which one's on and which one's not. So toggle one, so one would then be off. Toggle two, it would be on. And what does go to start say? Go back and do it again. And this little guy is blinking forever. Now, if I have not chosen a broken programming cable, let's see if we can hook this up. And the reason I use this header is I can just plug that right into these three little pins and I'm connected. I'll set that there. All right, let's go to the, the programming language. Okay, I need... So you can program it when it's running or not running? Or oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Let me make, make a quick comment. If you ever try to program and it doesn't work, if you have a real long pause, like if you tell it to pause 50,000, that's 50 seconds, during those pauses, it's ignoring you. So you may have to wait until that long pause is over to get its attention. Does that make sense? This is the program in the programming uh, language, in the, in the program itself. This is the free pickaxe software. And let me cross my fingers here and hit the programming button. Ah, it's working. Yeah. That little line means I'm sending new stuff to the chip. Now, let me do one quick thing here. Oh, and the report. Download was successful. Memory used, 14 of 256. In other words, I've used 14 memory locations to store my program out of 256, so I'm way below 10% of what the program would be. If I wanted to change that so it flashed faster, I change one thing. What would I change? The 502? Something smaller. Let's try it. I heard 250. Want me to hold it up while you do that? So That'd be cool. Thank you. 250 and I'm gonna hit now notice if you can when I hit program it's gonna stop flashing because I've gotten its attention faster let me do one more how would I make it flash more slowly let's put in a 1250 because that's easy I just put a one in there Okay, I gotta show you something. This is a, an educational piece of software, yes? Designed for kiddos. Wait till you see this. Uh, it's not gonna happen here, but. Okay. You see this little guy here? It says simulate, watch. It actually shows you, what, I, I don't have to have the gizmo connected. It shows the kids what's happening to the lines. It started up here, it's here, it pauses for a, a second and a half, goes down to here and goes back and it's showing me the light changing isn't that cool that's built into the program this is the new release of the software this wasn't in there a year ago I, that's wonderful for it's what's called debugging because you're gonna screw up guaranteed and this will help you without even having a pickaxe to look and see if a program's gonna work okay and I need to shut you off and we're gonna go back to PowerPoint questions yes sir I download, I disconnect my connector before we start running it. I've seen that. It might be some characteristic to your serial port. I don't know. It could be hanging a line. Yeah, I've, I've run into that on my PIC program. Yeah, a lot of things. Sometimes you, on some of them I have to actually reboot it, which means you unplug the power and plug it back in, then it'll start. Uh, don't know. Phase of the moon. Yes? 